So in terms of the imposter syndrome, I would say it's only occasionally that they'll write something really earth shattering. You know, Keats is an example. He wrote a few marvelous sonnets and half a dozen absolutely fantastic odes in his short life. And they were the high watermark of his achievement. Um, I generally say to people, you know, I'm a mediocre poet, which I think is true. You know, I'm not a front rank Australian poet. Um, I'm just slowly building up a portfolio of my best work, maybe half a dozen poems a year now that I'm writing steadily again, that are probably good enough to be in a book that people will enjoy. Um, so I, I think we're all in art is imposture. It's, you know, poetry, you, you're putting a little structure of words on a page to try to um, replicate a, a feeling, a moment. You know, it is an artificial construction. So yes, go with it. Yeah, we're imposters, we're actors, we're faking it. Uh, but it has to be based on our own striving. It has to be a serious striving. And as long as you feel that striving and that need to go on, uh, it'll just keep getting richer, particularly if you're um, self-critical. That very self-criticism, that feeling of imposture is the very heart of good writing. So it's kind of a, um, a judo move. Take your feeling of being a fake and turn it into a strength. That would be my advice. Every artist feels that way. We all feel we're not good enough. We go back and forth between thinking, wow, I've just written this really good piece. And then a week later, you look at it and you go, oh, God, how did I ever think that was any good? And the truth is somewhere in between. Uh, in, in a way, sending it away to editors and seeing how other people react to it is a, a more objective test than um, uh, liking it yourself or getting your friends and family to say, oh, you, you write so well, that's so beautiful. Or um, your supportive project group saying, oh, that's a beautiful poem. Unless there's a, unless they sometimes say, wait a minute, that's not so good. You could fix that. Um, you know, you know, actually, I'm not sure that poem works at all. You know, try again. If you can have a critical friend like that, uh, that'll help you develop that arduous self-criticism. And many of the best poets um, uh, edit and edit and edit their drafts. Um, um, Judith Beveridge is famous for honing and honing her drafts, um, you know, over many years. So, you know, keep going back and looking at them critically and, um, you know, find these critical friends who'll give you good feedback. Sometimes it's best to have um, another poet who you trust and whose work you admire, who's willing to um, give you that feedback.